are you, Andy? Good to see you. Uh, you too. It's uh, it's very good to see you guys. Yeah. You're both really awesome guys, and it's fun to be here. <laughs> that, that, that sounded like I had a gun at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are awesome guys. Uh, you got a crappy attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like number one attitude, good attitude. Dude. Yeah. I know, I know. You know, yeah. the last time I saw you, we were both in Washington, D.C. A bunch of us flew there to honor Will Ferrell, yeah. who was getting the Mark Twain Prize. That's correct, yeah. And we, we all had to go on stage and, and do kind of a performance. And That's right. It was on PBS, mm -hmm. and I was going to do my, my set, and I had a Ken Burns joke, Ken Burns of the Civil War series on PBS. Right. Someone was like, ooh, Conan's got a Ken Burns joke. You might want to check with them. So I ran it by you, and you were like, you know what? Mine's kind of throwaway. Just do yours. So I did mine. And it played real nice, but then I watched it and they cut it, and I heard it was because they're scared of Ken Burns. <laughs> <laughs> PBS has made a lot of money, you, you know, working with Ken Burns. They don't want to offend him, I guess. He's the PBS cash cow, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So they well, El Elmo's number one. Elmo's Numero number one. one. Right. Ken Burns number two. Yeah. Numero dos. So uh, you were up, you were irritated. I think I, I don't remember the routine exactly, but it was it was funny. It wasn't a bad joke. I mean, do you mind if I just like rip it off right here, real quick? Yeah, let's, let's show uh, PBS that we're not scared of Ken Burns. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready, Ken Burns. Hey. There he is. So, uh, have I not gotten laid in a while, or is Ken Burns super hot? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the setup. That's just the setup. Is it just me, or uh, does this guy look like Rob Lowe had a three-way with Stephen King and a goatee? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I can't believe they cut that. I know. We're going to all wake up now with uh, Civil War horse head reenacting <laughs> heads on our pillows. <laughs> uh, that sort of made sense. No. <laughs> now, uh, big announcement. You said you're not going to return to Saturday Night Live. That's right. I did say and, that. Uh, <laughs> You've been there how many, how many seasons have you been? I did seven seasons. Seven seasons. Yeah. And uh, I worked there years ago, back when it was uh, early, early days of the show, when it was mostly on radio. Uh, but it was, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I was interested, do you, are you going to miss the late hours there? Because my memories of working at Saturday Night Live are all about being there till like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And there's this sort of special bond you have with other people when it's you're just there all the time. Definitely, you know, I don't know that I'll, miss it on a day to day, but certainly a lot of strange things happen when you stay up that late. Uh, perfect example, uh, a buddy of mine, Rob Klein, he's a writer on the show. We left probably about 5 a.m. after a writing night and we live on the same block, so we shared a car home and uh, we got to his place, it's before mine on the block, and he was like, oh my gosh, I forgot my keys. And I was like, oh, well, he's like, oh, I gotta go all the way back to work, all the way back to Midtown. He's like, well, you can just crash on my couch if you want. Like, it's not a big deal. He's like, no, I don't want to put you out. He's like, really, it's not a big deal if you want it. You can. He's like, all right, you know what? That's actually really nice. I'll, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And then right as we took a step off his steps, this giant gay black man just kind of appeared <laughs> out from under his stairwell and walked up to us and looked at us both and just handed us a condom. <laughs> Yeah, and he went, and he went, have fun. <laughs> we were like, no, 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 and we realized like nothing we said was gonna convince him we weren't about to have sex. Yeah. So we were just like, thank you, thank you, safe sex angel of the West Village. <laughs> <laughs> a mythical, magical creature, yeah. yeah. And we, we were like, man, that is such a funny story, and went back to my place and just went at it like a couple of little rabbits. <laughs> Point, you might as well. Yeah, it was like the groundwork had been laid. We had protection. <laughs> <laughs> the groundwork. How <laughs> many groundwork had been laid? Well, if someone hands me a condom, I'm going to have sex within the hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good problem.